Welcome to the Thomas Light Workshop. We're, we're very proud here to be commissioned with the, the, the making of the third FA Cup. We have the two here. They're not replicas, they're both originals. Um, this particular one came into play in 1911. It was put into retirement in the early 90s. Um, this one was then introduced. Uh, it's been used ever since. Credit to the FA, they actually let the winning team keep the cup. It goes back to the club and it's the star of the show and it's where it then gets handled a lot. It gets dropped, it picks up dents and bruises. And for the last 20 years, we've been doing the restoration here at Thomas Light. And it's something that I'm personally and my team are very proud and uh, privileged to be able to produce. This cup is actually being made exactly in the same way. It's being made by hand, it's being hand chased, it's being hand formed and, 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 and made from flat sheet. And chasing is a form of putting the design in by a series of little tools and punches and the pattern is actually put in. It's not cut out, it's not carved out, it's actually pushed around. Like the FA Cup, um, to win it you've got to be a good team, it's got to be a team effort. The chaser that we use has got 45 years experience in the trade. This I know is one of his proudest moments to be doing and you'll see that his skill is something of an absolute dying art. And Colin, our polisher, Colin Hines, he will be doing the polishing, bringing it up to this beautiful shine that we uh, expect silverware to be. The only area we are looking to uh, actually continue will be the history of the cup. This plinth is still in good condition and that will be continuing on the new one. So we will actually be putting that plinth band onto a new plinth and therefore the history and that has gone before will continue with the new cup. We've seen the cup through its process of manufacturing and to the final polish, but what we do on the inside, because it's going to be hopefully celebrated and there'll be champagne and things like that, we don't want that to attack the silver, so we gold plate it. Basically, we put a gold solution in there. That is liquid gold that we're putting in. And it looks superb, but it's there functional as well. It's not just for the look, it's for a function. And that is to protect the silver when they use anything inside so it doesn't corrode or, or, or eat into the silver. Right, so here we are. It's the, uh, it's, it's the new third edition FA Cup. It's the first time I've seen this together as well, so you know it, you have to excuse the grin. There's a, a lovely space there waiting for this year's winner to be put there. Who it will be, no, none of us know just yet. Um, but certainly, this is this is now a cup that's ready for the next hundred years or so.